delete code 196, delete duplicate emails. Write a solution, delete all duplicate emails, keeping only one unique email with the smallest ID. For SQL users, please note that you're supposed to write a delete statement and not a select one. For Pandas users, please note that you're only supposed to modify person in place. After running your script, the answer is shown in the person table. The driver will first compile and run your piece of code and then show the person table. The final order of the person table does not matter. The result format is in the following example. We're going to solve this easy lead code question in both SQL as well as Python pandas. Let's start coding. All right. So our example over here, we have the person table IDs one through three emails, John, Bob, and then John. Our output is John and Bob because this John over here was repeated. Uh, so we keep the ID equals one. So let's rate this out. Super basic, in my opinion, you just build out a CTE and then essentially we're just going to delete from that CTE where in most of these other questions, we just do selects. So what I'm going to do what I'll have over here with emails as inside the CTE, what I'm going to do is select and then we're going to select the ID as well as our emails, just like ID, email, and then we're going to set up a rank. So rank over, we'll do partition by email order by ID. If you want the lowest ID first, I'm just going to call this as email rank. And then this is just all from the person table. So from the person like that. Uh, so let me just explain what we're doing one more time. I'm just going to put this ID in a new row. Uh, this doesn't look that pretty, but we're selecting our ID email and then setting up a rank over here. Nothing too special to rank since we're just going to go like one, two, three, et cetera. It doesn't really specify anything. So uh, we partition by, so we'd look at these unique emails and then we just order by ID. So ID one at the, is at the very top. All right, then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to say delete, not select, but a delete from person, which is our table over here. And I say where ID in, and then what I'm going to do is select our ID from emails. I'm going to say where email rank is greater than one. And uh, essentially this is like our select, right? Except we're deleting this person. Uh, it's going to delete the entire row. That's what's been requested. We're looking for the ID where the ID has an email rank over one. So anything that's ranked over one in here, um, that row is going to get deleted. So if I just run this really quick, you'll see it's been accepted. So uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, we don't really work with delete that often in a lot of these questions. All right, let's take a look at the Python pandas. So pandas will literally take you two lines. It's so easy, um, even easier than the SQL. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our table. We're going to say person dot sort values. And then inside over here, we're going to say by equals, and then we'll put over here email as well as our ID. And then what I'll say also is in place equals true. So in place equals true. And that's just in case sometimes uh, a table may not be in order. And then what we're gonna say is person the drop duplicates. We'll say our subset equals email. We'll say keep equals first. And then we'll say in place equals true. So in place equals true. And that's all we have to do because um, we just want to remove this from the person table. We're not going to be doing anything else special. So let's click run. And it's been accepted. So let me explain these two lines one more time. Uh, we're doing a sort in the values. So we're doing email and ID in places equals true. And then what we're going to do is just drop the duplicates. So then we're taking a look specifically at that email. There shouldn't be any duplicate IDs. Uh, we're going to keep the first email and then we're going to say in place equals true. And that is it. So this was a bit weird in comparison to all the other uh, type of lead code data analysts or data scientist questions that we've solved so far. But honestly, it wasn't too bad. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want to study even more lead code questions, I have some link down below in the description as well as a playlist right over.